Charlie Parsons for the stomping ground powered by Well Hydrate and available on the zone. Israel Madrimov. Um, not to be here tonight. A lot of people very angry. Uh, Eddie Hearn, one of them. He said there may as well have been no point in coming. The scorecards were so ridiculous. What's the initial feeling right now? Uh, so um, you know Eddie is is my guy Eddie is always behind me and he supported me he was the one who believed that who believed in me from the beginning and who knew that I can do it and I proved today that I can and I'm just grateful to him, to His Excellency, to Riyadh Season for the opportunity and uh, if God's willing is this, like going through this, then I think the better things are ahead for me and uh, I hope that uh, that I'll be back soon. That is a tremendous way to speak after what must be uh, quite a tough loss. Talk to me about the fight itself. Uh, looked quite comfortable, cagey at times. A battle of definitely the boxers. Did you feel at the end you'd definitely done enough for your hand to be raised? And can you understand the frustration? Ну, вот когда двоями во время тренировки отработали, мы в ринге точно так же отработали. И здесь не хочу что-то изменить или что-то. Если э, будет возможность еще реванш или что-то, можем попробовать еще лучше сделать. You know, I, I, I don't want to say anything about that. You know, like we had a plan. Uh, the game plan that was built in camp, we were practicing, we did exactly what we were working on, we um, felt successful with it, you know, and felt that we deserved the nod, but uh, if we'll get the opportunity to maybe rematch, you know, maybe maybe I can do something better, but to go back and look at it that I could have done something better, I, I don't want to do that. Uh, everything comes from the gut. Uh, Israel, you were the champion uh, up at 154 pounds they say to beat the champion and to become the champion you have to snatch the belts off them a lot of people think bud didn't do that чтобы стать чемпионом нужно забрать пояс у чемпиона все считают что он этого не сделал что ты как бы был на передней на ну, да. да мы э, я был чемпионом и дрался как чемпион защищал поэтому здесь э, не знаю кто как э, говорят но я считаю достойно защищал и показал свой бокс и показал всем чемпион никак этот нечаянно был чемпион скажем you know what I um, I was a champion I fought like a champion I defended my belt like a champion I felt that I deserved to keep my belt and what can I say I, I believe that I proved that I'm not a random guy who just become lucky or something I proved that I'm on the highest level in, in, in this sport I think us from the West we don't know too much about Uzbekistan but one thing that we can learn is your upbringing and we know it hasn't always been tough we've seen your amateur record okay the result didn't go your way tonight but you headlined in a stadium in Los Angeles what does that mean for you for your country and how proud are you стадион в Лос-Анджелесе в главном бою насколько ты счастлив и гордишься тем что это случилось да я горжусь потому что э, мой город мой страна э, очень э, исторический город как, как, как скажем и для спортсменов для бокса э, наш президент наш государство очень много э, возможностей дает а, поэтому мы всегда э, стараемся, чтобы лучше делать результаты для нашего государства и хотим 
что весь мир э, знали, э, как, какой э, как его, сильный э, государство Узбекистан. Многие не знают, конечно, но мы постараемся, чтобы э, показать, э, какой из города, какой из страны э, родился. И вот наш цель такой вот. You know, um, that's a huge honor for me and for my country because uh, that's the first time in the history that um, someone is fighting pound for pound, greatest fighter from Uzbekistan, uh, a fighter from Uzbekistan fighting that caliber of a fighter. Uh, I'm happy to prove that we are on the level, that Uzbekistan's boxing is on the level. I'm from this very historical city and uh, it's, a, it's a very big honor for, for me to represent my country, my national anthem played today all over the world, the whole world, world seen our flag, you know, and uh, it's a great opportunity and I just want to thank everyone who's involved who gave me this opportunity, you know, the Riyadh season and uh, His Excellency and to thank the support from our our country, you know, from the president and from everyone else. Just lastly from me, um, I suppose I, I don't know you too much, I, I'm sure adrenaline is still pumping through, but you seem quite relaxed and not content, I don't want to say content, but almost like you've accepted it a little bit. Why is that? It looks не, я всегда был спокойно, и у нас вот план, все как план сделали, сто процентов, и это реальная ситуация, как скажем, да. До этого я любительским боксом такого случая был. Сейчас тоже, и мы будем двигаться так, чтобы э, не оставить э, судим, так скажем, решить. You know what, I'm, I'm very relaxed and quiet person. I'm not, I don't like to talk too much. I'm not too emotional. So I was always like that. I've been in bad decisions in, uh, my, during my amateur careers. And, uh, you know, it's just one of those situations that uh, do I accept it I accept everything that comes from God you know and uh, it's just one of those situations that I'm not gonna be bragging or something else it's that it is what it is we uh, he said that we're just gonna try to get better and not to allow people you know to judge my fights just to you know make it uh, obvious or uh, st uh, you know, stop stop the fights before the decision. Well, we wish you the best first hand. Um, the way that yourself and the team have handled yourself all week is tremendous. I know you've been doing a whole load of translating that you probably don't want to still be doing at this point. So big up to all of yourselves. Final message to your fans? Сейчас просто скажи последнее послание для своих поклонников, для новых поклонников. Thank you for boxing fans. Ah, wait, waiting next fight and support me. Inshallah, I show more and more great fights. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you, guys. Last one.